Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be tackling something that I, I used to tackle quite a long uh, a while ago. Uh, anybody that's familiar with the, uh, the channel, been with me quite a long time, will know that it started off doing a lot of bespoke conversions. Um, that stopped about two years ago now. But uh, I'm proud to announce we have another one. This is an extra long wheelbase feature Cato, uh, the longest one you can get uh, purchase on the market. Um, it's the L H2 as well, so it's high top one, and this is what we're looking at. Um, I'm literally at the start of this conversion now. Uh, as you can see, um, just started a bit of panelling. Um, we've got a, a double forward facing seat here at the back. Um, we're literally right at the beginning, the wiring's being run in. Um, and doing a lot of planning to uh, liaison with the customer as well this is quite a, a complex conversion so just a quick run through of uh, what we're going to be doing uh, the back half we've got quite long beds um, and the high up as well because we're going to be housing I think it's three bikes in the back so we need a minimum height for that as well and we've got a bit of storage down each side we're going to be housing um, the heater in this corner here as well uh, moving towards the front of the vehicle where the, the bed ends, we've got uh, a shower compartment um, which uh, is going to be shower and toilet uh, area and then at the front here as you can see we've got um, some crash tested uh, M1 tested front facing seats uh, we've got a window going here as well um, and this at the end of it will will make up a, a single bed as well uh, I'm gonna make something up for that to, to utilize to make another bed so we've got uh, four traveling seats uh, we've got a really big uh, double bed at the back here really long double bed and we're gonna, obviously gonna have that uh, one single one at the front as well there uh, as this uh, bed ends here uh, we're going on the start of the kitchen then. Uh, the fridge is going to be high up. We've got some uh, drawers underneath and then we've got a full cooker and a sink at the end of that as well. Uh, we've got an awning under some gas tanks. Um, I've ordered some really big water tanks as well. So I've improved on the size of the uh, the water tanks that we've got going on in this one. But uh, yes, this is going to be the start of a new series. Um, like I said, it's been a while since uh, I've done... Uh, a bespoke one, but uh, I'm looking forward to this one. So we'll uh, we'll set the camera up and we'll uh, we'll see how we get on.
Okay, so got the timber rails on, they're bonded on, shaped to the sides uh, and all the windows. Uh, I've got the rails on, on the roof as well, they're all nice and set and ready. Um, got put some more wiring in. I've uh, got the wiring in for the step and the level indicators which are going through have also fitted the step as well. I didn't uh, film that because it would have been awkward being under the van. Uh, I've got the 240 hook up in with a support board behind it so it keeps that uh, metal work nice and rigid so that's fitted and ready. I've got the, uh, the external 240 point again a bit of a support board behind it bonded on so that's uh, all wired up and done. Uh, I'm just getting ready now to put the floor down getting towards the end of the day now so I'm going to get this uh, bonded down so it's set overnight uh, so tomorrow uh, I'm going to be looking at insulating and getting the panelling on and then probably get ready for carpeting then um, so what I'll do uh, I'll get this bonded up we'll pick the video up again tomorrow and uh, we'll have a look at insulating and panelling the van Okay, so we've got all the panelling up. There was a bit of a gap here, but uh, this is where the shower compartment's going. It's starting here and, and finishing about there, so obviously there was no need to, to fill that in because I'm going to be putting something else over that. Um, roof is all done. Straight through. I've got another board to make at the front. You still see the insulation here, so I've got another board to, to finish that off there. Um, as you can see, the sides are done. The windows have been trimmed off. 
as you can see I've had to put some carpet around them like I say I've had to do these windows differently I normally do them with the gaps so the uh, the carpet or the leather whichever I'm using pulls in and creates a nice sunken effect but because I was so uh, tight on space on this one and measurements wise uh, I've had to do it slightly different so that's how they're, they're gonna be uh, carpet's gonna come over wrap over and that's gonna tuck in nicely same with this one Not the same with this one uh, the sliding door is gonna be sunk in because I've, uh, I've got plenty of room with that one and, uh, as you can see here, same again on that one. So I'm up to um, I'm up to carpeting now. I'm going to start with the roof. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to put that on the next video, the carpeting side of it. I've also got uh, a gas tank, underslung gas tank, to fit on this one as well. So that'll be going on. Uh, I fitted the the awning light. Just a second. See it there. Awning lights on that one. So uh, I've got everything in that I think um, that's got to go behind uh, the panelling basically in the carpeting. So all that side of it's done. There's a lot of prep work done to get to this point, as you probably know if you're doing your own anyway. But uh, So yeah, uh, we'll finish it there on this one. Um, we'll pick it up with the carpeting on the next uh, video. But if you've got any questions, uh, comments, anything like that, uh, don't hesitate to, to put them in the comments section or send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.